guys, it's Brittany, and I'm super excited for today's video because it's a creepy Christmas story. So I thought for Britmas, you know, I want to incorporate Christmas and scary, and this is Christmas and scary. And also, too, I meant to say in my last video, I'm really looking for some like giant Krampus to put in my set because I think that would just be amazing. But so far, I cannot find anything that's like a giant Krampus statue or like giant stuffed Krampus or anything, whoops, sorry penguin, <laughs> or anything like that. But I would love to have that just to kind of, you know, make it more creepy behind me, but I still think it looks really magical, so I love it. It looks so good in my little screen, so, oh, girl, I love it. <laughs> Today's story is called Christmas Tree Decorations. And this story is all about a very young girl who is home alone on Christmas Eve and she has this encounter, a pretty nasty encounter with this man who claims to be Santa Claus. So this story takes place in Paris and the young girl, she is 11 years old and her name is Juliet. On Christmas Eve, she was home alone. Her mother was working because she's a nurse and she works at the local hospital so she couldn't be with her daughter Christmas Eve which is pretty sad so Juliet she was decorating her Christmas tree but you know what just to interrupt the story like who decorates their Christmas tree on Christmas Eve like huh like I don't understand that but I mean like if you do that then like that's cool but like I just don't get it but whatever <laughs> Juliet's mother then called her and said that she won't be home till really late like I think she was supposed to be home a lot earlier but then she's like okay I have to stay a lot longer so Juliet was kind of sad about that so she continued to decorate the Christmas tree she went crazy she she had all these lights, like all these decorations. She went nuts. She put the angel on top of the tree and then after she was finished, she sat down, relaxed, and watched some Christmas movies. In the actual story, it says that she's watching TV shows, but I'm just gonna say she's watching Christmas movies because it makes most sense, right? So as she's watching Christmas movies, she starts hearing this really weird scratching sound coming from the front door. So she mutes her TV and she kind of just listens very carefully and it's a really eerie silence. Like it's completely silent so she's like all right that's kind of weird like what is going on is it Krampus or something so she decided to get up and go to her front door and look through the peephole and as she looked through the peephole she saw a man who looked like Santa Claus he was wearing a red suit he was so big and jolly he had a white beard a hat like he looked like Santa Claus so she was like oh my god Santa Claus he came early like I thought she's supposed to come when I go to sleep but like what all right but then Santa he started knocking on the door kind of loud and like kind of you know aggressive so Juliet was kind of scared and then she said who's there the man then replied it's Santa Claus I'm cold and I'm hungry let me in so Juliet, you know, at first she was like, okay, like, this is Santa Claus, but then after he said that in that tone to her, she was like, okay, hey, this definitely is not Santa Claus, and he's some creepy old man, and like, I don't know what he's doing here, but he's really creeping me out, I'm all by myself. I don't know what to do. So she continued looking through the peephole and she noticed that this man was getting so angry in his face. Like he was turning red and he just looked like he was, you know, he was getting very angry. And that scared her even more. And he started banging on the door like he was like, oh my god, he was so even more aggressive that time. He even started rattling the doorknob. So that, that is just taking it to like a totally different level and it's just, that's not right. So he started saying, it's me, Juliet. It's Santa Claus. Have you left out cookies and milk for me? Because it's Santa Claus. Like, let me in. So first of all, how the heck does he know her name? Like, oh my god, I couldn't even imagine being Juliet. That would just terrify me. And that's exactly what happened with Juliet. She had that feeling in her stomach, like her heart fell to her stomach she was terrified she was thinking to herself how the heck does this guy know my name unless he really is Santa Claus because Santa Claus he knows all of our names right but he was like he was not the typical Santa Claus like Santa Claus is supposed to be super friendly and jolly and happy and just you know crazy in a good way but this man he was like nasty he was mean and he was just creepy then he started kicking at the door like even more aggressive than the last two times and she was so scared so she looked through the people again and she noticed that he pulled out a knife out of his red suit so obviously this is not Santa Claus like you know it is just not Santa Claus because why would Santa have a knife and why would Santa 
Santa Claus come through the front door? He's supposed to come to your chimney, like, you know, mm. So Juliet then said to him, if you don't leave, I'm gonna call the police. All of a sudden, the man sounded as if he wasn't there, like he vanished because it was complete silence out in that hallway. The door stopped rattling, his anger, you know, pounding on the doors, it all stopped. So she was just staring at the door, she stopped looking at the people, but then she slowly made it over to the people again and then looked through the people and what she saw, like it was silent, nobody was there. So she was like, okay, you know, I guess I scared him off, like he's just some creeper. I told him I'm gonna call the police, so you know, I guess that scared him, now he's gone. So as she's looking through the people, she's thinking to herself, you know, okay, I guess I really did scare him off by saying I'm gonna call the police if he doesn't leave, so you know, he is some creepy man, I guess that scared him off, I'll go back to doing what I was doing, like everything's gonna be okay. So meanwhile, she's still looking through the people as she was thinking all that. Then she sees the man running by with an axe. Juliet, she screamed so loud, she ran into her closet. And as she ran into her closet, she was crying, like she was shocked. She didn't know what was going on. She hears this man holding this axe, banging it against the door, trying to knock down her front door. The creepy man, he succeeded with that because he knocked down that door, so he was inside her house. So obviously this man is a whack job, so he made it inside of her house and he's laughing to himself like a psychopath saying, Juliet, my pretty, where are you, my pretty? Where are you hiding? Come out, my pretty. Like what the heck? Like who are you? The Wicked Witch of the West? Like honestly. So Juliet, she is inside of her closet. She is crying. The man is walking around her whole house trying to look for her and then he comes right in front of the closet with the axe. He starts rattling the doorknob like he did with the front door and he's saying, Juliet, I know you're in there, open up for Santa Claus. She grabbed this wire coat hanger and she twisted it into a point. So that's basically her weapon. So when she saw the man coming into the closet, she grabbed that coat hanger, the wire coat hanger, and she like, woo, she went crazy. I mean, I don't blame her, obviously, self-defense. It went right into his eyes, so he was screaming because, I mean, obviously, that would be painful. Blood is just pouring down his face, so he grabbed Juliet by the hair and he was dragging her all over the house. So Juliet is on the floor, He's kind of over top of her, just standing over top of her. The blood is all coming off of his face, like out of his eye, going down his face and landing onto her face, which is so sickening. And as the blood is going down his cheeks and onto her face, like right all over her face, he starts smiling and then you, know, you guys know, I'm thinking about Sweet Tooth again, he does this really creepy smile, like a very evil smile at Juliet. So then, as he's looking at her with that smile, this is what he said to her, and I wrote it down in my notes because I just didn't want to mess it up if I couldn't memorize it. So he said to her, tonight you will be privileged, my lovely Juliet. I've got a list and I've checked it twice. I'm here to decide if you've been naughty or nice. You can scream and scream and beg for your life, but naughty girls get the axe and nice girls get the knife. So Juliet's mother, she comes home after midnight that night. She sees the front door is completely open. It's smashed open. She's like, what the heck? She sees blood all over the house. She sees the closet door smashed open as well. So she's going all over the house looking for Juliet. And when she turned the corner, she saw the Christmas tree and Juliet's body parts are all on the Christmas tree as ornaments, and her head is the tree topper. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, should I have said this story? You know, it is kinda crazy, but it's scary, and you guys know me. I have a scary channel, it's what I do. But yeah, that story is really scary, it's disgusting, it's sickening, and... It's just disgusting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a pretty terrifying story, very gruesome, very sickening, disgusting, but it's creepy. But you know, I guess just don't open your doors this year to anybody who claims to be Santa Claus because of course it's not Santa Claus because Santa Claus is a nice guy, you know, and there's just a lot of creepers out there. So be careful. I'm not trying to scare you. Yes, I'm trying to scare you with the story, but you know, with the reality, just trying to keep everybody cautious with your surroundings. I mean, this Halloween we dealt with clowns. Oh my God, the whole clown thing. That was just ridiculous, oh my God. But anyways, as always, you rock my world and the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. Oh, I just hit my, okay, sorry. <laughs> hashtag team, Brittany 44 Hashtag brotherens, hey. Hashtag Merry Christmas, yay, I'm super excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I feel like I've said that so many times. I hope you guys like my set, because I'm living for it. I think it's so much fun. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.